chapter 2.3, quiz 7.6. The instructions are, find the intercepts of the graph of each equation and graph the equation. Now, what are the intercepts? Well, there's two intercepts in a line. There are the x-intercept and then the y-intercept. Now, for the x-intercept, we plug in 0 for y, and we get a number, call it a. And for the y-intercept, we plug in 0 for x, and we, and we get a number, call it b. So in order to find the x and the y-intercept, we need to plug in those values independently, not at the same time. So for example, let me use a different color, because this one, I can't barely see it. So for the x-intercept, we plug in 0 for y. So you got 2a plus 3 times 0 equals 6. Now, why did I substitute a for x? Because I don't want you to get confused with x as being the function x, but in fact being the x-intercept. So I decided to use the letter a which is the same notation here. Now, again, this does not mean that that's the procedure you have to follow all the time. This is to differentiate the fact that x and a are two different things. a is a constant, the number we're looking for, and x is a variable. So, 2 times a plus 3 times 0 is 2a. Now, in order to solve a, we divide by 2. So a equals 3. Therefore, the x-intercept is the point 3, comma, 0. For the y-intercept, let me change colors here, we plug in 0 for x and y for b. So you have 2 times 0 plus 3b equals 6. Now 2 times 0 is 0, 3b is equals 6 means that b equals 2, 2. Now just like the previous, previous problem, that means that the y-intercept is 0 comma 2. And for graphing the equation, the only thing you need to do is plot these two points into your graphing. So 3 comma 0 is this point. Let's use the same colors as before. So let me erase this. Again, 0 comma 2 is this point as far as the Let me see if I can get it. There you go. Oops. And then the x-intercept 3 comma 0 is this point. And now we trace the line that connects those two points. So that's your line. Now the same thing can be done here. Now the reason I chose this problem was because it had fractions, but the concept is exactly the same way. So again, to find the x-intercept, we plug in a for x and y for 0. So you have 1 half a plus 1 third times 0 equals to 1. That means that 1 half a equals to 1. Now, Different from the previous example, we divided here. Here, I don't want you to divide. I want you to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 half on both sides. What is the reciprocal? 2 over 1. Therefore, a equals, well, what's 1 times 2 over 1? It's 2. So my x-intercept is 2 comma 0. For the y-intercept, we plug in b for y, for y and 0 for x. So 1 half 
times b is times zero because so one third b equals to one. That means that one third b equals to one. Again, we multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. So b equals to three. Therefore, your y-intercept is zero comma three. Now, just as before, let's plug in zero comma three. That's this point. Let's plug in the x-intercept, which is two comma zero, which is this point. And let's plug in the lines that connect both of them. Let me, I wasn't totally straight. There you go. So that is the line. And that will be all for this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below or ask me in class. Thank you.